I was an assistant professor at uh, King Abdulaziz University uh, for, for a while, the, the Department of Surgery. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about what the implications are going to be on teaching, you know, being a medical student and teaching medical students. I think this is where AI is moving tremendously fast that uh, as a former academician and nothing, you know, uh, maybe some of the academicians would be not happy with, with my statement, but I think academia just moves very, very slow. They're, it's very traditional. It moves extremely slow. So I think the educators are going to be actually more taken on by surprise than the, the, the students. The students are going to embrace it. Patients are going to embrace it. You know, patients come in and say, you know, chat GBT said this and chat GBT said that. And if you don't embrace this very, very powerful, you know, technology, you're just going to be left behind. And I honestly do not know I don't see that movement in the, you know, there's there's a there's an initiative that I'm part of with the with Columbia University and FII. It's called AI and the Future of Work. So there, there's a there's a track for healthcare that I'm leading, but there are also a track for for uh, education. There's a track for ethics, and there's a track for uh, track for economics. And honestly, uh, not just at the level of medical students, but even as as training, because uh, I, I also I was I was the surgical residency program director at uh, King Abdulaziz University. What the competency is needed for, you know, a medical student in 2024 are completely different from the competencies needed for medical students in the 80s and 90s, are completely, are going to be completely different in 10 years from now. So, so it's a very exponential kind of uh, deep curve that I think... I think we're we're just gonna have to see. Uh, I don't think there's enough even conversation within academia. Academia is just worried about oh, did they cheat? Did they do the? Uh, did they write it or did they ask ChatGPT to do it? You know that's that's like you know we getting beyond that is especially in some very critical spaces like you know graduating a safe phys uh, a physician, graduating a safe nurse, graduating you know what competencies are needed and I, and I think they're different i remember when i was you know uh, an intern and when we had a patient in the emergency department you know we used to do calls where our pockets are filled with like these you know small books where we go through and and read when you know we want to look up this thing and we want to look up that thing and and now do you really want to have do you really need that so what knowledge is needed for the future doctors? What skills, what attitudes? I think this is a very important conversation that we need to have. And again, I'm glad that this this event is is focusing on that. I, I hope it continues. It, it, it will start a conversation, not just to, to be on the event, but to be a continuous conversation.